also may appear that official crime statistics revealed something different, according to one America's Pearson Sharp. To listen to the mainstream media, systemic racism in America is allowing white cops to gun down black victims without any consequences at all. But let's break down the numbers, because when you take a closer look, the media and the politicians on all sides have it completely wrong. First off, police don't kill more black people than whites. They just don't. That's a lie. Totally false. From 2017 to 2020, official reports of police shootings in the U.S. reveal police shoot and kill more white people than any other race by far. An average year shows cops kill more than double the number of white people as they do black, and three times more than Hispanics. Critics come back and claim police may be killing more white people, but that's only because there are 160 million more Caucasians than African Americans in the United States. But even that doesn't make sense, because although African Americans make up just 13% of the U.S. population, crime data shows they commit 53% of all homicides, 38% of all violent crime, and 60% of the robberies, more than any other race. On average, 981 white people are murdered by black people in the U.S. every year, compared to 375 black people murdered by whites. Police data also reveals that for every 10 black people killed by police, another 45 white people are killed by black people. Black people also account for 40% of those who murder police officers. So while more black people are killed proportionally by police, they are disproportionately involved in criminal activities and are still somehow underrepresented among those killed by police compared to how much crime they commit. But even that isn't the whole picture, because numerous examples prove that during encounters with police, a black man is less likely to be shot than a white man. And over 75% of the cases where an officer shot and killed an African American, the cops were either under attack or were protecting civilians. But it goes even further than that. Official data shows police officers are 18% more likely to be killed by a black man than an unarmed black man is to be killed by the police. An analysis from the Justice Department also shows that in places like Philadelphia, black or Hispanic officers were actually much more likely to shoot unarmed black suspects than white officers. But none of that is mentioned by the media. Instead, you have a one-sided picture portraying police violence as part of a widespread culture of racism which apparently kills twice as many white people as anyone else. Meanwhile, no one is addressing the horrendous daily murders of black people in Democrat-run cities like Chicago. Just over Memorial Day weekend, 10 black people were killed in drive-by shootings, and yet the media remains totally silent on their deaths. Where is their justice? Until the media, the left, and radical groups like Black Lives Matter are willing to address these issues. The myth of systemic racism will continue to claim more innocent lives and destroy the communities of the very people they claim to be helping. For One American News, I'm Pearson Sherman.